we're in a war. Yeah, we're in a fucking war. Yeah, feminism. We're all we here. Are, actually. All right, yeah. we're all fucking here. All right, we're here fighting in in Iraq or some shit. Gunfire all over the place, whatever it may be. I'm the fucking captain. I'm supposed to lead y'all. I start breaking down. I start crying. Fuck. I don't know what we're going to do, man. Shit. Oh, God. They're going to kill us, man. They're going to kill us. Oh, fuck. Oh. How would that make you feel? Start here. <laughs> Yo, we're on our own. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that make you feel? I'm going to go run it high because I ain't with y'all. Cool. <laughs> we're on our own. Yep. Yeah. What about you? I'd be confused with how you got where you were. Okay. <laughs> way worse. Thank you. That's even, I like that. I would feel way worse for sure. <laughs> I will take over. I will lead the pack. You'll lead the pack? Fantastic. <laughs> All right. I was about to say, like, I'm going to find some way to survive. <laughs> no. Like, of course, not we're wrong. I'm going to have to find some way to we got you, girls, get, no get through this. Like, we're going to have to. We team up, what about, get it together. What about you? Smack your ass. A true leader is someone that is selfless. So that wasn't a true leader, and I would not follow them. Perfect. I would yeah, not. Follow them. I agree. Like bad leader. Like get it okay. together, man. So if your man's supposed to be your protector, your provider, and your leader, and I start fucking crying to you, what what's that really gonna do? <laughs> beta, beta, beta. No, literally, <laughs> smack like, his ass. Get shit. it the that's fuck together. Like you're supposed to be leading back, us into fucking war. Man well, we because leaders. here's the thing: if I can't even if I can't even keep it together. With like some minor thing, if people break into the house, how the fuck am I going to protect you? Mm-hmm. If we go and, uh, you know, uh, times are hard, how the hell am I going to be able to provide for you? So all I'm saying is that when you open up to a girl, it opens up Pandora's box to other issues that may happen. I'm showing you with my actions, I'm incompetent. I think mm-hmm. on the surface, it seems harmless when he cries to you. But deep down, there's so many layers of what can happen in that scenario. And the person that he is to cry in front of you means there's other problems that you don't see right now. Here, this is... Problem. Things come up. This is a perfect example, right? Like toxic. That comes from the same rhetoric of toxic masculinity. You know, men should be more feminized and be a little bit more in tune with their emotions. Fuck that shit. I'm all for guys controlling their emotions, being stoic, exposing themselves to the guys that, you know, are their friends that understand their problems and being a man to their woman. I mean, would it be fair to say, ladies, that guys nowadays are fucking soft? Soft as fuck. Okay, like you, like you want to know why they're soft? Because they listen to bullshit advice like that. No offense. <laughs> <laughs> open up. Be more sensitive. Well, guys are like, okay, girls tell me to open up more. I want more sex. I okay. should be the one complaining about the food. Like, and then you open up sex? and you don't get fucking laid. No, for real. It's all about sex now. I said, I said I should be the yes. one complaining about the food when we go to the restaurant. Okay. Like, Ladies, not my man. understand this on the podcast. Everything men do is to get laid. They don't care about your personality. True. They don't care about what you think. They don't care about how much money you make. They don't give a fuck about any of that. First is sexual attraction. Everything else falls out after that. So if a man talks to you, I hate to say this, they're talking to you to fuck, not because yeah. of anything else. Can you I know this. Wow. Yeah, I know I'm that, but I'm just like still looking for the one that is not doing that. Like, Really, man? Not? No, men fuck no? women that's okay. unattractive. <laughs> men, yeah. fuck men, men fuck women oh, that they're not even attracted like, to. Men will fuck women that they make fun of. Okay? And as okay. I said, that's men true. will fuck women that they're not even attracted to. Exactly. Like, Literally, okay, babe, if you're waiting for the. I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being nice. I'm waiting for the man that's not looking to fuck. No, no, of course. Yeah, I'm looking to fuck as well. <laughs> <laughs> Like, Every man not, wants to fuck. He's not gonna Find show that unicorn, up. Girl. He, he better be gay. Because girl, baby, I'm baby, I'm coming for girl. you. I'm manifest it. I'm manifesting. I'm manifesting here. Every like, man wants to fuck. Okay. Whether he's he waiting his turn, she. whether he's playing his part, whether he's he's building those Best IKEA shelves, selling, <laughs> selling your <laughs> dream. So anyway, he's the one of the end. The reason why, ladies, 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 one mic at a time. The reason why men are soft nowadays is because they listen to bullshit female advice that tells them to be more open, be more in tune with their emotions. Come do yoga. You know, uh, what sign are you when they actually believe in that shit? Like, you know, men that are attractive don't listen to female dating advice. Can I pose a I idea? Question? Why men that are attractive? What was that? You said men that are attractive. Yeah, men don't that are attractive do don't listen to female dating okay. advice. Hmm. But they can you do not yoga. physically, <laughs> but like overall, yeah. Because okay, okay, female okay, female okay. dating advice in general yeah. is actually very counterproductive <laughs> to being okay. attractive. You know? Yeah, I actually okay. agree with you. I think okay. that. Like the things that we're like ideally looking for in a partner are very different from the things that we're like attracted to and like people that we're trying to fuck. Thank All you. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. You had yeah, something? I agree so well. I have, I guess it's a quote, but it's like um, a woman can learn to love a man, right? But a man will know when he loves a woman. Like it's almost instant. Like once you know you're tied to that woman, you're for her. It's like imprinting almost. But I don't know. Do we agree with that? Like a woman can learn to love. A man will already know that he loves you from the jump. I think no, a better way to phrase know. it is that women love opportunistically and men tend to love idealistically. Yeah. That's a good way to Yes. Uh, uh, what I mean by that is that a woman can't love a man unless he meets a bunch of metrics first. Mm. Does he make okay. enough money? Is he tall enough? Is he adequate? Is he competent? Is he confident? 
Like women have a whole laundry list of requirements that they want in a man. Some girls are pickier than others, but in general, women are far pickier than men. Those are called standards, right? <laughs> yes. you, know, you know the funny part? Women have standards, but not men. For the most part. Yeah, we see that because you fuck yeah. everything that walks, right? Exactly. <laughs> like no, 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 no. The, he, he no, means... the, no, the difference is when a woman says, I want this in a man, it's considered standards. When a man says, I don't want no fat bitches or annoying bitch, whatever, no. it's considered discrimination. Yep. Men can't have so. standards. I don't think so. You don't think, think so, you but should the be world open to like tells whatever you want. You can have standards. Uh, men can't really have standards. Publicly, I guess publicly, because then it is a bad thing, Because right? here's the thing. I've, I've said on this podcast a lot, a lot of times, men typically don't want obese women that are annoying, loud, crass, and promiscuous. You're a misogynist. But if a woman says, I want a man that's tall, ambitious, and good looking, you go, girl. You, you know your worth. You see the difference? <laughs> see the difference? Men can't have standards. I say, I don't want a fat dude. I mean, then what? You like, can say that. You can say that. If I say that. But we can't. And that's what I'm saying. They're saying, they're saying you're judging. It's all yeah. this. Uh, I don't, I I don't got no type. Mad bitches is the only thing that I like. <laughs> how dare you? Like, how dare you? Like, like, <laughs> no, it's, that's it's, not cool. Like, that's why I was just saying. Like, basically, everybody should be understood on their points. Men can't be um, overt about what they want in women. Because if they do, it's, they're typically going to be met with some kind of shaming language. Like, you're toxic, you're insecure, you're a misogynist, you're small dick energy, something like that. I will absolutely agree with that. I've heard so many guys yeah. and like converse about what they like about women and what they like in a woman. And I hear so many people comment that, like, oh, you're so gross mm-hmm. for that. You're misogynistic. Oh, how could you say that? Like, da, 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 da. And I'm looking at it like, okay, but we do the same shit. Yeah, like, it's about preference. I look for my guy. Yeah, you got to be tall. You got to have like, you know, it, there's we have standards like you're absolutely right. I would argue male standards are far easier to reach than female absolutely. standards. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, another quote. Yep. Women, oh <laughs> oh <God. laughs> women are complicated. Men are simple. Yes, that's true. It's so true. dude. Men are simple. Well, like evolutionarily, so simple. we like had a lot more. You know what the scary part is? Safe. Men are simple and women still can't get rings and get a relationship. Right. Shit, I, give, I give everybody a try. I give myself a pat on the back. I get to know you first. You know, no matter what you look like, your shape, your size, because it's always like a stereotype. Fat dudes got little dicks. I didn't met a fat dude with a big dick. So I mean, hey, you can't. <laughs> hey, you hear me? Talk, talk to a fat dude because like, he might have I a mean, dick. Like, that, I'm gonna get to know you first. That's great that you're open about it. I am very open. But what I've come to realize from interviewing uh, but a, a lot, lot of bitches women. aren't, or a lot of women yeah. aren't. I'm yeah. not trying to fake. They're not. When I've interviewed a lot of women on this podcast, um, a lot of them tend to have standards that are fairly high that <laughs> that they shouldn't even deserve. Like you, you don't even deserve those high standards that you're putting for yourself. Like mm. who are you? Yeah, but, <laughs> exactly. But, but still, girls still say, I, I deserve this and I want this and I'm not going to settle. So. so then how are we going to compensate for that? Right. Like as a woman, I look at it like, OK, these are my standards. How the fuck am I going to come to the table? Then? I mean, I'm not going to settle, you know? but I'm going to get to know who exactly who I'm talking to first, no matter what. Like, yeah. you, know, you know what's funny? Yeah. This is all good and dandy. It sounds great on paper. Will we leave aside of here? Yeah, then we'll be the same shit. Still gonna be, uh, he needs to be six foot and 100K per year minimum. Bro, this is all hilarious. Right. Uh, and we got uh, almost 12,000 of y'all in here, man. So like the video. Uh. 3.2 bro, some bullshit. Like, yeah. Bro, <laughs> guys, like, like, like. I'm losing their followers here. What's the next, the next topic? Because we all feel a certain type of way. 11k with 3k likes. Come on, guys, give uh, us some likes. 